The Grips of Dread Imagine you, lying in bed, the room shrouded in darkness, your body heavy with sleep. But then, something shifts. You're awake, or so you think. You try to move, to shift your weight, but your limbs feel like they're encased in concrete. Panic sets in as you realize you're trapped, paralyzed, unable to escape. That's sleep paralysis for you, a nightmare within a nightmare. But what if I told you it gets worse? Much worse. It happened to me one fateful night. I drifted off to sleep like any other evening, unaware of the horror that awaited me in the shadows of my own mind. Suddenly, I found myself in that dreaded state of paralysis. But this time, it felt different. This time, I felt a presence in the room, a malevolent force lurking just beyond the edge of perception. And then, I heard it, a faint rustling, like footsteps creeping closer and closer. My heart pounded in my chest as I strained to see through the darkness, but my eyes refused to obey. I was blind, helpless, at the mercy of whatever unseen terror was stalking me in the night. And then, I felt it, a cold, clammy hand closing around my throat, squeezing the life out of me. I gasped for air, choking on my own terror as the grip tightened, cutting off my breath. I tried to scream, to fight back, but my body remained frozen, a prisoner to the darkness that enveloped me. I could hear the whispered taunts of my assailant, a dreadful voice promising pain and suffering beyond imagination. I begged for mercy, for release from this living nightmare, but my pleas fell on deaf ears. The minutes stretched into eternity as the agony of suffocation threatened to consume me. I thought I was going to die, that this would be the end of me. But just when I thought I couldn't take it anymore, the grip loosened, and I was free. I gasped for air, gulping in great lungfuls of oxygen as I struggled to shake off the remnants of the nightmare. But even as I lay there, trembling and drenched in sweat, I knew that it wasn't over. The darkness still lingered, lurking in the corners of my mind, waiting for the moment when sleep would claim me once again. That night changed me. It left me haunted, tormented by the memory of those icy fingers around my throat, the whispered threats that echoed in the recesses of my mind. I couldn't shake the feeling that it would happen again, that the nightmare would return to claim me once more. So I lie here, night after night, dreading the moment when sleep will overtake me, plunging me once again into the grips of dread. And as the darkness closes in around me, I can't help but wonder, is it just a dream, or something far more sinister? Help me. Have you ever had a dream so vivid that it felt real? I'm talking about those moments when you're stuck between sleep and wakefulness, unable to move or speak, but acutely aware of your surroundings. That's what they call sleep paralysis. It's like being trapped in your own body while your mind races with fear. I've experienced sleep paralysis a few times before, but nothing could have prepared me for that one night. It started like any other night. I went to bed, closed my eyes, and drifted off into a restless slumber. But then, something strange happened. I woke up, or so I thought. I tried to move, but my body felt heavy, like it was weighed down by an invisible force. That's when I heard it, a faint whisper echoing in the darkness. At first, I thought it was just my imagination playing tricks on me. But then, the voice grew louder, more urgent. It sounded like someone pleading for help, their words muffled and distorted. I tried to shake off the feeling of dread that was creeping over me, but I couldn't. The voice seemed to be coming from all around me, surrounding me like a thick fog. I wanted to scream, to cry out for someone to save me, but my voice was trapped inside my throat. And then, I saw it, or rather, I felt it. A presence looming over me, casting a shadow that seemed to swallow up the room. I couldn't see it, but I could feel its icy breath on my skin, sending shivers down my spine. The voice grew louder, more desperate. It was begging now, pleading for me to help them. But I was powerless, trapped in this nightmare with no way out. I wanted to run, to escape from whatever darkness was closing in on me, but my limbs refused to move. I closed my eyes, hoping that it was all just a bad dream. But even in the darkness behind my eyelids, I could still hear the voice, still feel the presence looming over me like a dark cloud. Hours passed, or maybe it was just minutes, I couldn't tell. Time seemed to stretch and warp in that suffocating darkness. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, it was over. The voice faded away, and the weight pressing down on me lifted. 
I opened my eyes, gasping for breath, drenched in sweat. It took me a moment to realize that I could move again, that I was free from whatever nightmare had held me captive. But even now, as I lie here in the safety of my own bed, I can't shake the feeling that it's still out there, waiting for me to fall asleep again. Waiting to drag me back into that suffocating darkness, where the whispering shadows lurk just beyond the edge of consciousness. Sweet Dreams Okay, let me tell you about one of the scariest experiences I've ever had, a night when I was unable to go asleep. I thought it would be just another night, but as night fell, my subconscious terror drew me into its icy grip. When I fell asleep, I had no idea what kind of nightmare I was going to face. My eyelids were heavy, and soon I was enveloped in the soft embrace of sleep. But what starts off as a peaceful pastime quickly turns into an incomprehensible nightmare. I lost the ability to move and became motionless inside my own body. Any movement was met with resistance, as if I were shackled to the bed by invisible shackles. Panic overcame me, a primal urge that made me want to struggle against invisible forces that were binding me. I began to feel as though there was someone or something bad in the room, hanging just out of my direct line of sight, while I battled to break free from the paralysis. It had a spooky aura that made me shudder and gave the entire space an unsettling darkness. My voice sounded muffled as the tight grip of sleep paralysis prevented me from screaming and screaming for help. No matter how hard I tried, I could not escape what felt like a waking nightmare. That's when the whispers began. Like smoke, they were soft, cunning whispers that cut through the darkness. They echoed in my head, giving me a growing sensation of impending dread as each second went by. The presence of the entity was becoming more palpable, hovering above me akin to a menacing ghost. His eyes met mine directly, piercing the darkness with a shiver-inducing intensity that was lit up by a peculiar light. I made an effort to turn away from the chasm that seemed to be about to engulf me, but I was helpless in the face of its spell. It seemed as though the thing was trapping me in a terrifying web, leaving me there with no way out. The murmurs became more distinct voices, each one darker than the last as they got louder. They talk of unimaginable terrors, nightmares come to life, and a darkness that seems determined to eat everything in its path. I closed my eyes, desperate to get some sleep, and tried to calm the horrors all around me. However, I could sense the entity's presence even in the shadows behind my closed eyes, its malevolent stare penetrating my whole being. As I struggled against immobility, time appeared to stop having any significance and each instant seemed to go on forever. I had the impression that I was plunging into a pit of horrors and that there was no way out. The paralysis started to fade just as I was beginning to lose my ability to handle the horror, releasing me from its icy hold. I sighed with relief as I sat up in bed, trembling and soaked with sweat. If you've enjoyed our spine-tingling tales and crave more, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell. Until next time.